What's up guys, Jamie's back on the channel, and as you can see from the title below, we're going to be doing another one of those Who's Better series. Uh, you guys seemed to really enjoy that when I first filmed it and released it, so I'll, I was motivated to keep doing it. <coughs> so, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, make sure to leave a like on the video. That's the best way to share support on the channel, and subscribe if you like all sports. We're on the grind, at least three videos a week, and big announcement. I haven't uploaded, I've only uploaded two this week. This will be my third, so on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I'm off school. I guarantee you at least one video each of these days. So, turn notifications on so you never miss one of those. So, today's Who's Better is going to be another NBA one. It's going to be Kawhi Leonard or Giannis Antetokounmpo. <clears throat> Giannis this year, so far, has played in 40 games... Uh, he's had uh, a 5, .552 field goal percentage, a .324 three-point percentage. He's not a great three-point shooter. I don't understand why he shoots them. But and he's got a .631 percentage from like from twos, for two pointers. He's got a .615 free throw percentage. He has uh, he averages uh, 12.9 rebounds per game, 5.5 assists per game. 1.2 steals per game, 1.1 blocks per game, 3.4 turnovers per game, and 30.1 points per game. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> he has kind of had an issue with injuries. He's only he's only played like one full. He's only played like three 80, 80 seasons, three three eighty game seasons. Uh, the other ones haven't been great. Uh, but the other guys also very, very, very injury prone. Like Kawhi Leonard in 2017-2018, he only played nine games. And then he wanted out, so he went to Toronto. Uh, and at, and then so far this year, he's played in 32 games. Uh, he he's played in 32 games. Yeah, so still has had injury problems this year. He's had a .465. Uh, field goal percentage and 0 .371 three point percentage and a .499 uh, two point percentage. Uh, he's got a .890 uh, free throw percentage. He averages 70, 7, 7 .3, not 70.3, 7.3 total rebounds per game, 5.0 assists per game, 1.9 steals per game, .6 blocks per game, 3.3 turnovers per game, and 26.5 points per game. <clears throat> So far this year, the only really reason that Giannis has way better stats, not way better stats, he kind of has better stats though because Kawhi's got Paul George to help him. I mean, Kawhi's got a better team surrounding him, and the Bucks are Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Giannis. Uh, so basically, he's got a better team. And like also, <clears throat> Kawhi's only, like he's never played in an 80 game season. Kawhi. He's like his most amount of games in a whole season is 74 in 2016 2017. Uh, in Toronto last season, he was very clutch. You, we all remember that clip he hit, like the turnaround jumper he hit against the 76ers. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah. So, I think that maybe like like that Giannis has spent his whole career with the Bucks. Kawhi has been a, a total of three teams in the last three years. So I mean, I mean last year Giannis popped off. He won the MVP, obviously, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won the MVP. Yeah. Yeah, he won the MVP. Yeah. And he was the finalist in 2017-2018. And, like, Kawhi, Kawhi's very good. They kind of have different play styles. Kawhi's a shooter. Kawhi's a great shooter. Giannis, Giannis shoots three, but, like I said, he's got a .324 three-point percentage. So he's not that good. And, like, also, <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, Giannis, is, Giannis plays more like a power forward because he is a power forward. Kawhi's more of a shooting guard, small forward kind of guy. So... I mean, Giannis gets a little bit more points. Uh, Giannis has more turnovers. Giannis has better defensive stats. 
Um, and uh, he's also a better passer. Uh, he's a better rebounder, Giannis is. Uh, Kawhi has better uh, free throw stats, two point, two point stats, and three point stats. So you can look at those. But then Kawhi's also got a better. Uh, no, no, my bad. Giannis has a better uh, field goal percentage though than uh, he does. Oh yeah, cause his like, cause his two pointers are awful. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I mean. I think that Giannis is way better than Kawhi. Maybe not way better, but he's definitely better. Giannis so far has played a course of three positions since he was 19. He's played small forward, shooting guard, point guard, small forward, and power forward. He's just never played center. Power forward is where he really feels home. Kawhi's stuck at small forward basically his whole career. Uh, and I pick Giannis over him because, like I said, Kawhi's very injury prone. I think we saw him pick it very up. When he was with the Raptors, and like, because the Raptors have Kyle Rout, Lowry, and Pascal Siakam, and Fred Van Vliet, and that was basically it. And because we all know he went in that Demar Derozan trade, Popovich wasn't was tired of his whining. So I mean, uh, yeah, like I said, I think Giannis is probably better uh, than Kawhi. I mean, yeah, like I said, Giannis has spent his whole career with Milwaukee. He, in his first season, he only started in 23 games and only averaged 6.8 points per game. Kawhi, Kawhi had a better for thir first season, but still, Giannis is better. He's definitely younger, and he's definitely better. So that's who I think is better in Giannis, Santa DeCoupo, and Kawhi Leonard. These who's better series are very short because... Because I'm only going over two player stats. So, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. As well as subscribe to the channel if you like all sports so you never miss out. On, and hit notifications so you never miss out on the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow for another one. Maybe even later today. But definitely tomorrow.